Welcome to the Joy Adventure. I'm Jeanette Joy Fisher, and today we are interviewing Ken MacArthur, a good friend of mine that I met because of Twitter and tweet ups. And so if you think that Twitter can't change your life, think again. And Ken, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Now, Ken is a best selling author of Impact How to Motivate Millions and get noticed in a busy, wor noisy world? Something, <laughs> Something like, like that. that. <laughs> it's, it's a long, hard title. It's called Impact, How to Get Noticed, Motivate Millions, and Make a Difference in a Noisy and World. And make a difference, and that's what you do. Well, thank you. I, um, you know, just through life, we all make a difference. You know, so many people think that they don't make a difference, and that's the reason we have things like suicide, because people think that they don't make a difference. But the truth of the matter is that we all make a difference. We all make a difference whether we want to or not. I mean, if you think about a mother and their kids, if you do nothing with your kids, and that goes on for years and years, the impact of that is horrendous, really, right? Because, you know, you, you touch kids in a very, very special way <clears throat> if, you're, if you're interacting with those kids. But if you don't interact with them, you're going to have horrendous results. And that affects not only the kids, but everybody that they come into contact with. So we all make a difference. We all do. And you also do uh, JV Alert, or J J JV Alert Live? JV Alert Live events and the Impact events. Those are my uh, two big events that we do now. And the uh, JV Alert Live events are primarily for people who are interested in internet marketing and how to reach people with their ideas and their products and services using the power of the internet. And we get together and we form joint venture relationships and get to know some amazing, amazing people. I call it my family of people because there's so many people that want to help each other to grow their businesses. And the impact events are really centered around how to have an impact, just like the book was, how do you get noticed with your ideas, your products and services, and how do you really go out there and make a difference in a noisy world. In a noisy world. And what would you say to someone who wants to go out and make a difference in a noisy world? Well, first, do it. <laughs> You know, so many people, so many times, you know, we're afraid, you know, isn't it a scary world out there? You know, bad things happen all the time. We get up in the morning and, and you read the headlines and it's, it's a scary place out there. So, so many times we don't reach out and just try the things that uh, we could possibly imagine because so many things can be imagined and so many of those things can be accomplished. And the way we get from imagination to accomplishment is we divide it up into little tasks that we can manage and we actually go out and do those things. So tell me about a story about someone who's come to one of your events and really made a difference. Wow, there's so many. I mean, I, I remember a story, you know, Jeff Wellman was a, a fellow who came to JV Alert Live events. Um, <clears throat> he, he actually was a dairy farmer and his father before him was a dairy farmer and his grandfather before that was a dairy farmer and things were not so good on the, on the dairy farm uh, industry anymore. And he lost his job and he was, you know, getting up there middle-aged and he had some special needs kids that he was trying to support, had a family, he uh, had some adopted kids and, uh, you know, life was tough. And he came to this event kind of kicking and screaming because his son said, you, you really ought to take a look at this, Dad. And he was at the time working in a baby food factory and just trying to get by. And he came to this event. He was able to actually uh, create his own product. Uh, he was able to go out and sell $140,000 worth of that product in, in 30 days, and it kind of turned his life around. But the story doesn't end there because uh, Jeff has this amazing you know, soul that he brings with him every, everywhere that he goes. And he has this enthusiasm. And he, he told the story on his website of how he uh, you know, had the cows up on his website with all the kind of pokey dot Holsteins, you know, looking at the, um, <clears throat> at the web page. And, um, and a kid saw it. A 15-year-old kid saw that, uh, those cows. And his father was a bitter, bitter man. He was working in a gas station, you know, trying to get by. He'd never had much affection with, with, uh, with his son. He'd been so frustrated and angry about the world and the way that the world had treated him. And his son went up to him and he told him, he said, Dad, look at this website, this guy with those cows sitting on his webpage. He says, this is you. You could turn your life around in this kind of a way. And his father turned to him and he gave him the very, very first hug that he'd ever had in all of his 15 years. 
And you think about that for just a moment. And he didn't know if his father would ever go into something like internet marketing or if he'd turn his life around. But for that moment, he touched another human being in a way that really, really meant something. And that's the way that we make a difference in the world. The way that we make a difference is that little tiny, tiny thing. You know, I had a, I talked about the impact events and how, how that, that changes people's lives. <clears throat> we asked people at the impact event to stand up and just tell us who had the biggest impact on their life and what did they do to have that impact. And when we asked them just those two questions, you know, a hundred people got up and told us all kinds of different answers of people, you know, a teacher here, a parent, a, a spouse, somebody that they met on the street. Uh, and in a hundred percent of those cases, at that event at least, it was just a simple kind word or a bit of encouragement at exactly the right time. It was the most impactful thing in their entire life that changed their life and turned them around more than anything else that they could possibly remember. Just a simple kind word. And how many people can't go out and just give somebody a simple kind word? We think it doesn't make a difference. We think that it doesn't matter that we do that. But people walk you know, to the edge of the Golden State, the, the bridge, and, and, and jump out and over the edge just because of the fact that nobody goes up to them and says a kind word or, or validates the fact that they really can make a difference and that they really mean something. So who had the biggest impact on your life? Oh, wow. There, there are just countless, countless people. Um, you know, I have to think of my parents, you know. Uh, I, I was just at a, at a family reunion last weekend, and I was watching my brother, and, and as he moved around a crowd of people that were there to celebrate a, a family occasion, and the people just kind of swarmed around my brother, and, and they were drawn to him, and I, and I was just amazed by how people were attracted to him, and it was because of the small kindnesses that he did for every single person that was there because everybody, he reached out and he touched them. You know, whether they were important or whether they were the, the youngest kid that was there, it didn't matter who it was. For that moment that he was with them, he had them in mind. He had their lives, their wants, their needs, and their desires. And that's what we can, that's what we can do. Well, that was taught to me, I think, by my parents, just as it was taught to my brother. So. We pick up from the, the small things that other people do, and that has a huge impact, not just on me, not just on my brother, but thousands of people that we come into contact with. So what happened before you started doing JV Alerts? What was the catalyst for that kind How did of that business? happen? Um, I come from a technical background. I used to do all of the forecasting and logistical software for Pepsi. Uh, I got involved early, early on in the internet, and I actually formed one joint venture with one fellow. Actually, I've never talked to this gentleman on, on the phone at all, never had a conversation with him. Uh, we put together a little site called Affiliate Showcase, and just going back and forth with ideas in, in an email conversation, we were able to do, uh, over the course of the first six months of that launch, a site that did over a quarter million dollars in recurring revenue from one joint venture, just sending a couple emails back to forth together and that site stayed in the top 2,000 sites on the internet for years. And it hit me that if one person could get together with another person and, and be able to have that kind of a result, what if I could actually get out of my basement, meet people face to face? <laughs> so it was a desperation thing. Um, you know, my wife didn't really want me to go out and spend money on events. So in order to have events or to go to events, I had to create my own and, and try and make them at least marginally profitable. So, <laughs> so I started uh, just with a, a simple email that went out to um, the list of people that I was already working with. And I said, would some of you, you know, some of you must be in my area. What if we just get together for lunch or have a, have a, 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 a uh, we can meet in my basement or, you know, spin around some ideas or something like that. And 30 people emailed me back immediately and said, I'm coming to your lunch. And one of them was Frank Sousa, who happened to live all the way across the country. And he was going to get in an airplane, fly all the way from Spokane, Washington, all the way to Philadelphia, just to meet me for lunch. And that impressed me so much, I said, well, we have to do something a little bit bigger. <laughs> We're going to have Frank uh, coming all the way across the country. So uh, what we did was we did what we call hot seats. And we still do it to this day, where we would each one of us went around. We didn't have any speakers, but we just 
each one would put an idea on the hot seat, and then the rest of us would comment on that uh, particular project, and we'd grow our ideas. We had a great time. And we got together for a dinner the n night before, and we got together for breakfast. And we still do that now, but now it's a three-day event. It's, it's a huge thing with hot seats and world acclaimed uh, speakers and, and just amazing family that's all grown out of just a simple email, one of those small things that you can do to make a difference. And every time that um, we have one of these events, millions of dollars are made, but that's not the important thing. Every one of these events, people's lives are changed in small ways, in ways that, uh, that, that just truly impact other people's lives. And so is that what motivates you to keep doing the uh, yeah. live events? It, you know, I, I live for these kind of moments because, you know, I, number one, I love being with the people. I love being with wonderful people like yourself. I, it, it's just amazing to me the, the lives that we all lead, you know, how, mm -hmm. how interesting people are. But, you know, I, I say there's two questions you ought to really ask yourself when you get up in the morning. You know, the first thing is, what do I want to do all day long, you know? For some people, my wife, for instance, would love to get up and she would go out to the garden and she would dig in the weeds and she'd, she'd do all that stuff out in the outdoors and breathe the fresh air and feel wonderful about that. I would feel actually terrible about that <laughs> because to me it would be getting dirty and pulling out these sticky weeds and it would be messing up my finger. I don't know what, you know, I'd rather probably be sitting in a basement uh, working away on a computer somewhere. And everybody has some passion, some way that they want to get up and face the new day. And then the second question, so the first question is, what do you want to do when you get up in the morning? And the second question is, when you get to the end of your life, what will make you feel like, if you've done that thing, that you've lived and you've loved and you've made a difference? Because I figure if you get up every day and you do the things that you really, really want to do, and you get to the end of your life and you've lived and you've loved and you've made a difference. That's a pretty darn good life. And that's what I do. So what does joy mean to you? Uh, for, me, for me, joy is, is the moments uh, in people's lives when they see that it's all worthwhile. You know, it's a tough life out there. Every day we all have struggles. And every day we have joys. We have these little magic moments that touch us in, inside of our soul, you know, inside of our minds, inside of our hearts, inside of uh, our realization that our impact goes on beyond us, that, that whether we do anything or not, we make a difference. If we do nothing, those results will be disastrous. And yet, at the same time, we have so much control now. We know so much about what we can do to spread the word even further about the good things that are going on in life, to, to, to teach other people and to get those messages out that life is worth living, that we do make a difference, that you can have an impact. If you really want to touch millions of people, you already do. You already do because of the people that you touch in the small ways and the ways that they touch other people. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us today? I thank you for letting me be a part of this and for you, you know, spreading your joy and, and for spreading the wonderful spirit that you have, you know, to me. You've touched me in so many different ways and, and for every person that does that in a small way to some person at some moment in time, that gives us the power and enables us to go on and to do the things that we do. So thank you for that and thanks for this opportunity to be with you. It's always a joy to spend time with you. Well, thank you.